that the British Prime Minister Liz Truss has sacked her trade minister, Connor Burns, with immediate effect. And this has happened, or allegations of some serious misconduct that he reportedly indulged in. The 10 Downing Street has claimed that Liz Truss was in fact compelled to act after receiving a complaint against Burns of inappropriate behaviour during a party conference. Now, the Whip's office maintains that the Prime Minister is very clear that all ministers should maintain high standards of behaviour at all times. And this also goes on to show that Liz Truss wants to be seen as someone who acts pretty quickly against allegations of impropriety, as against her predecessor Boris Johnson, who in fact used to sit on such allegations for a long time and took a long time to respond. Now, on the other hand, 50-year-old Tory leader Burns has vowed to cooperate with the party's inquiry as the allegations against him are presently under an investigation, suggesting that the Conservative Party has in fact jumped to a conclusion. Now, Burns in fact took to social media to say that he was not informed about this complaint and he also hopes of a quick inquiry. Now, Burns, who is seen as a key ally of Boris Johnson, had been a trade minister exactly for a period of a month. Now, Burns is the Member of Parliament from Bournemouth West since 2010. He'd resigned as a Trade Minister in 2020 after a parliamentary watchdog had ruled that he had used his position to intimidate a member of the public. He'd later returned to the office as the Minister in Northern Ireland. Now, Burns' ouster means more trouble for Liz Truss, who is already facing dissent within her own party. Her government has been plagued by controversy over the announcement last month of a string of debt-funded tax cuts. As critics have now said that the move will in fact disproportionately benefit the wealthy and the businesses instead of the common people in Britain. All right, now to give us more insights in terms of what this of course means for Liz Truss's government, we're being joined by Mr. Renaud Foucault. He's a senior lecturer in economics in the Lancaster University and is joining us now in this broadcast here in Vion. Ms. Fokar, thank you very much indeed for taking time out and speaking to us. Now, this incident that has happened, where Liz Truss has been forced to sack her trade minister, is, is obviously going to affect her government. At this point of time, how is this being viewed by the public within Britain? Well, uh, I'm not even sure this is uh, very high on the agenda of anyone at the moment. But what Liz Truss wants to do is to avoid it becoming something uh, too uh, too salient. So the problem of Boris Johnson, as you as you mentioned, is that in the end, what took him his job, the reason why he fell in the end, was because he was protecting somebody called Chris Pincher, who was accused of similar allegations. And in the end, he fell not for the party gate, not for all the, the problems of conflict of interest, but just because of that story. And the beginning of the downfall of Boris Johnson, similarly, was when he tried to, to protect Owen Patterson, who was accused of conflict of interest. So mm -hmm. on that, Liz Truss is trying to make the stories disappear before they become too mainstream. Unfortunately for Liz Truss, at the top of her agenda at the moment, there are stories that are not, not much better, which is uh, raising Absolutely. mortgage rates, problem of the, of the unfunded tax cuts, etc., etc. Absolutely indeed, Mr. Foucault. Now, a lot of people were hoping that once Boris Johnson was out, you know, Liz Truss had stepped in and people thought that there would be some kind of a difference in the government, in the Tory government uh, that, that is presently now governing Britain. But it appears to be more of the same because Boris Johnson's prime ministership at 10 Downing Street had been defined by a lot of these scandals, by the slee scandals on which he had sat upon. And now the fact that, you know, there were allegations of inappropriate behavior at a party by the trade minister has now been sacked shows that the Tory party is simply not able to put these kind of allegations behind it. Yeah, it's very difficult because all those people who are member of parliaments have been elected under the leadership of Boris Johnson. And because Boris Johnson and his allies have been relatively lenient on those kind of issues, those people have not disappeared. Liz Truss has replaced as prime minister, but all the members of parliament remain the same. The only thing she can do is to be stricter when those appear. And that's what she's trying to do at the moment. And there is a massive difference between the Johnson era and the Truss era. In the Johnson era, everyone was talking about scandals all the time, but we had almost no idea about policy. Policy was completely irrelevant in the Johnson time. No, Liz Truss, she's very, 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 very much into policy. People are disagreeing with her for what she's doing. Not so much for the, the, the scandals or the, the corruption problems. Absolutely indeed. So what happens to this man who's now been sacked? He has been sacked from the position of, of the cabinet position that he in fact occupied. But what happens to his political future now? 
Well, for him, I guess he, he, he was already sacked once for um, for for harassment. So this is the second time. I think this is someone who was very very much linked to Boris Johnson, and Boris Johnson seems to be out of the picture now. The problem might be that Liz Truss, at the moment, her future, she's really working on a, on a on a difficult path because she needs to get to keep some support among MPs, and all those MPs are initially people who are loyal to Boris Johnson. So how can she keep the support of her party? in such extremely difficult time in terms of polls, in terms of uh, political support, in terms of budget, when at the same time she tries to be strict and to discipline a little bit uh, all those people who have been supporting her and who were initially uh, got their job through Boris right. Johnson. Absolutely indeed, Mr. Renaud Foucault. Thank you very much indeed for joining us and getting us all those insights there. This, of course, is a story that we will continue to track because Boris Johnson's prime ministership at 10 Downing Street has been defined by scandals such as this. Now, one was hoping that the Tory party would be able to put, the, put that behind. But Liz Truss, in a month, in a month since he assumed office at 10 Downing Street, has been rocked by a similar scandal. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.